subscribe please just click that watermark that's throughout the video on the bottom right welcome to fastang 444 this is the area I call the bird's head because the roads are configured in the shape of a bird's head. And I'll start at the eye of the bird's head and there are potentially multiple drops around this area. Now glance behind me, potentially there could have been a drop right on this road right near me. But there's one over this direction so I'll go over here. Good start, a level 7 for Bronco. And I'll jump ahead where I am chasing this car to engage in a head to head. It winds up being a level 1 Volkswagen Beetle, and I'm laughing because I'm still kind of surprised that people take this vehicle when the Nissan Tesuru is an option. <laughs> but I guess if you're doing some sort of challenge and you want to use that Volkswagen Beetle, I understand that. I, I don't really partake in the whole challenge thing. My challenge is trying to win the entire game. That's plenty of challenge for myself. Up ahead where I am on the expressway and along comes a Mercedes-Benz AMG GT. And it looks like the finish is across the river, possibly near the reservoir southeast of New Lake, so I will immediately start getting across the river and it is and they're taking the route that is north of the water and they will take a bridge that goes across at the dam so this may be a close finish but I think actually this is a better route because I get across the river right away and then I can build up some speed over on the south side of the waterway so see how this goes and as I thought it was going to be a kind of a close finish but uh, they would have had to make a sharp right turn at the end or cut through the trees I'm not sure what they were doing maybe they were trying the right turn or trying to ram me I don't know either way I am in this Hoonigan Focus RSRX and I will jump ahead where I am getting in position for the final showdown. In this final arena, if you engage in late head-to-heads, you will be caught out of position near the aerodroma. And that appears to be the case for the other four drivers, so that may work to my advantage. to heads complete. Get ready for the final showdown. Final showdown begins in 30 seconds. You can see on the map this point I like to leave from at this bend in the road east of this intersection ahead and this is south of Muleg. This is arena 15. The range of time to leave is 11 to 13 seconds. And these ranges of times that I've come up with are for level 10 acceleration rates and speeds but there are other vehicles within this game that have near level 10 speeds and acceleration rates this hoonigan focus rs rx has near level 10 acceleration rates although it doesn't have the top speed and i as i am showing you left way too early you can see I'm early on my exit, so I have to slow down through here. Final showdown in three. The announcer said three just before I reached the exit. The countdown shows four. The maximum time that you could leave at is three and a half seconds. It's actually like 3.499, but 
I possibly could have been eliminated unnecessarily because no one else is even near the exit. And you can see how little of time was left on the timeout bar. Very foolish. As I exit, I will go to the left and line of this angled road ahead and I will be left of that bridge. I'll go right of this electrical power tower. Next I'll follow along this road that goes kind of in line of these electrical power towers for a short distance, avoiding those buildings that are on the left, and this goes just left of the solar panels on this line. The roads that are ahead are configured in the shape of a bird and I know to go to the right of that bird avoiding the lava field. driver on the minimap, so I'll be able to win this in the Soonigan Focus RSRX. This is a great win. Welcome to the shadowy rank of the Illuminati! Because of the incoming car drop announcement, I will stay in this area, although I don't see a drop initially. Incoming car drops! I've learned to stay in the same point I am starting at when I hear the incoming car drop announcement because I've passed up some high level drops by moving in the past. Well, there weren't any drops immediately next to me, but I do see some over on the left here. So let's go see what this drop is. I'll pass on the Ford Escort and go over to this second drop here, hopefully beating these other cars that are on the minimap to the second drop. It looks like I'm going to beat him, and that wound up working out very well. I'll get this level 6 exoset. Now let's head over to this third drop. Let's see what this is. Oh, there's other vehicles that are over there. One of them gets it, but there's another one that's right there. I'll engage in a head to head with them. That winds up being the Nissan Tesuru. Let's see what direction. Alright, and I'm heading the right direction. That they are not, so I should be able to beat them fairly easily. I'll jump ahead here. I wound up in an area where I was trying to be a car drop sniper that didn't pan out, so here I am at this point trying to chase down this vehicle that is on the mini map and engage in a head to head with them. And off we go. jump ahead here where I am on the perimeter of the arena. I let my vehicle go opaque on the minimap where I'm not visible on the minimap. I'm hoping that someone will head the wrong direction on the expressway towards me and I can engage in a head-to-head -head with them. 
and this doesn't always work out it takes a bit of patience and many times it does work out though so I'm very optimistic here comes someone now I probably should have waited till they came all the way towards me because now they can see me on the mini map and they turn around start heading the direction the head to head would lead but I have a bit of a jump on them with the momentum I have Consider for a second taking the Ferrari because I think it has a faster top speed than the Hoonigan Focus RS RX, but I thought if I could possibly get into one more head-to-head -head, I could get into a level 10, but that didn't happen. So this will be the car I use in the final showdown. Lamborghini Centenario that was the griefer in my head-to-head. -head. I'll challenge them and see if they won't run to get out of position for the final showdown, which they don't take the bait. This is the point I like to leave from. It's actually just east of the stream where the bridge that crosses it begins. This is Arena 3. The range of time to leave is 22 to 26 seconds. And because the Hoonigan Focus RS RX doesn't have a very high top speed, I will leave it 30 seconds. Head to heads complete. Get ready for the final showdown. Final showdown begins in 30 seconds. At this point I can tell that I left too early so I get into the other lane in hopes that I could block the Lamborghini. This makes me laugh. They're saying prepare for the final elimination. They're not prepared. They're parked. Just before my exit the announcer said three. The countdown shows four. I know I cut this way too close. I could have possibly been eliminated by the arena from leaving early. Three, two, one, go! I wasn't able to block the Lamborghini Centenario, but more importantly, look at how little bit of a sliver is remaining on the timeout bar. It looks like the finish is on the eastern edge of the lava field. At this point I have to decide, do I want to stay on the expressway and go over after I get through the intersection for a clear route or take a more direct route across the stream. I decide to take the first option, go through this intersection, clear the trees and then cut over to the right. The Lamborghini Centenario is taking the route where you go off that off ramp and go through some trees there. It's a tight fit to get through there, but if you slow down you can get through there. They wound up running into the trees. So I have a shot at winning this if I can get a clean run through the rest of this. I have the speed on 
my side at this point and I'm going to be able to win this race and more importantly I am very satisfied that I beat that griefer. Welcome to the secret society of the Illuminati! Oh, shh. Thanks for all the support and all the subscribers. I very much appreciate all of you, and if you haven't yet, please subscribe.